So I'm sitting here with uh, Guillermo. I hope I, uh, I said that right. Could you just yep. please put up your badge? So you can have a good zoom. Great. Thanks. Well, yeah, please uh, introduce yourself. My name is Guillermo Guzman, and I'm with Wishing Well International Foundation. I'm here visiting from the United States. Um, just came in on Sunday. Uh, prior to that, uh, we attended the Water Quality Association show in San Antonio, Texas. Um, what we're trying to do is promote our foundation. Mm -hmm. um, Wishing Well International Foundation was formed um, in 2010. Yeah. And we are, what we're trying to do is bring clean, safe drinking water to developing areas. Yeah. Um, our first major task was to bring the, the Water Quality Association together so that we can make this an industry effort. Yeah. And uh, we were very successful in San Antonio. We have an entire industry, of, uh, some 2,400 plus members mm -hmm. are behind the effort now. Great. And we're going to start our fund fundraising. Um, here we are in beautiful Cape Town. For yeah. A day. So I mean, so you're looking at trying to get a more private approach to the issues? Um, well, we're here now networking, um, seeing what is being done uh, on a grander level mm -hmm. as far as infrastructure planning, future planning, mm -hmm. uh, what uh, large organizations are doing, um, learning more about what the future holds as far as uh, development uh, for clean, safe drinking water. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's still a need for organizations like ours. In fact, being here reinforces the need for organizations like ours yeah. so that we can do something in the interim. Um, everything that is being talked about here is long term. Definitely. It's a plan for the future. Yeah. What are we going to do with this urban uh, growth yeah. uh, that is going to happen in the next 10, 20 years? But it's already here. It's already here. Um, and we have, but in the interim, we have lots of people getting sick. Lots of people without access to uh, drinking water. We have 4,500 children uh, dying daily uh, worldwide from waterborne illnesses. So um, that's what uh, we're all about, is uh, doing something for the short term while the long term planning takes place. So. Great. Well, I mean, thanks a lot for this. And I wish you all the best uh, with this work because uh, it's tough, it's complicated. Yes. But it is uh, serious stuff. It's very rewarding. We're happy to do it. And um, I have a great partner here in South Africa in Cape Town, uh, Tony Marcassini from H2O International. Um, I've been doing business with him for about uh, some 17 years. Um, my main business is uh, also in manufacturing mm -hmm. water filtration products. The name of the is H2O International and work with H2O International South Africa. But after 17 years of working with in, in Africa and several of the South African countries, um, we've seen the need and uh, it's time for us to give back. And so we started the foundation and now we've brought an entire industry together, which has been phenomenal. So it's, uh, Great. I appreciate um, the kind words. and uh, <laughs> Keep up the good work, I'd say. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much.